We've chosen to partner with organizations here in Red Deer, Rwanda, Haiti, and Uganda because of the way that they empower the people within their communities. One of the terms we often use in the global outreach community is capacity building. In general, capacity building can be defined as simply removing barriers. Removing barriers so that individuals can realize and attain the potential that we know and they know that they actually have. Whether that's in business, whether that's in their home, or whether that's just within their community. One thing we love about the organizations we partner with, both here in Red Deer and globally, is that they take capacity building and empowering individuals very seriously. Like we talked about last week with our partner in Uganda, we have seen that IN Uganda is empowering individuals both educationally and spiritually through their CHAP program and HIV AIDS teaching. The same happens here in Red Deer with our partner, the Pregnancy Care Center, that empowers young women and men to become healthy, loving parents. In Rwanda, we partner with an organization called World Relief. World Relief focuses on bringing Rwandans together, and particularly through pastors, educating them to reach out to the most vulnerable within their own communities. One of the tools that World Relief gives its leaders and pastors is the tool of savings plans. This tool is then given to the community and members to bring into their homes and families, a way that they can now save money to either buy cows, buy food, build homes, or start small businesses. Let me give you a story of what we saw when we were in Rwanda in May. We were invited to join a community, build a home for an older woman who had no house. She was actually living with her cow and her goats in what seemed to be a barn. Now the community leaders came together and, and brought forward those that they thought were most vulnerable. And this lady came to the top. And the community then went out and sourced boards, sourced nails, sourced land, and came together all on a Saturday to build this house. The amazing piece here is that the leaders saw a need and they addressed the need. By the end of the day Saturday, this woman had a roof and four walls and a home that she could call her own. Another area that we see capacity building happening is within Haiti Arise. Haiti Arise was founded by Mark and Lisa Honorat in the year 2000. And we as Crossroads Church began our partnership with them in 2009. What we love about Haiti Arise is how they zoom in on capacity building and encourage the community to make long-term social, economic, and spiritual changes. Haiti Arise built their first technical school in 2003. Unfortunately, due to the earthquake in January 2010, the entire school had to be rebuilt. Crossroads Church has been a major sponsor in getting the trade school up and running again. The school just officially had its grand opening in November. They're currently teaching hundreds of students skills that will positively impact their lives and their families. Haiti Arise also focuses on capacity building through the housing of orphans, through the medical clinic that they have that serves the Grand Blob area, as well as sponsorship for students, not only to be in primary school, but also to be in the trade school. The act of building capacity and empowering individuals is what we see our partners doing, day in and day out. Our compassion offering is coming this Christmas Eve. It's a way for us to continue to support our partners who are doing amazing work for God's kingdom here in Red Deer, Haiti, Uganda, and Rwanda. So Crossroads, we need you to pray. We need you to pray for our partners daily as they engage in the work in which God has asked them to do. And we also need you to pray for what God would have you give this year.